G'day folks and welcome to Australia Worldwide Entertainment with your with your OG of Train Sim World, the Godfather from the land down under. Thanks for joining us as we do this after midnight service on uh, the Raru Austin in Germany. And uh, this is a service that is. Uh, currently empty as we're coming out of one of the holding yards along this route. If you are watching on Premiere, it will be a 1080p ultra wide after, or, or thereabouts, after the Premiere. It'll be shown in 4K resolution. Do enjoy. We are playing this on Train Sim World 4. This is a Train Sim World 1 route that we are playing on. And we're on PC. We're playing via DX12 and a custom engine settings. This has been recorded in September 2024, a few days before the release of Train Symbol 5. 
And don't forget, we will have the coverage of Train Sim World 5 here at Australia Worldwide Entertainment on the early access release. It will be releasing on early hours Friday morning, the 13th of September 2024 here in Australia. That's a custom engine setting that we have there that gives you a helicopter style view. I call it Helicam. It's a very, very cool feature that I've got through the engine any settings. pan this around which is really cool you can zoom up more come down more make it faster it's a really really cool feature it makes the game look like a complete different beast do note that uh, certain routes with very high detail it can uh, cause issues like crashing to the desktop Highly recommended not to use on the Lurk commuter, which is the Long Island Railroad remastered. So I advise you guys not to use it on that particular route. Because I've had issues crashing the desktop, especially around Sunnyside Yard. And don't use it while you're inside the tunnels of the Bakerloo line or any tunnels of fact. As it also cause, co could cause conflict. Don't forget we are live streaming on the Wednesday, the 11th of September 2024 with our final Train Sim World 4 live stream with Midweek World Trains episode 188. It is our Train Sim World 4 top 5 routes countdown as we're going to count down the 5 best routes of the Train Sim World 4 era. There was 11 routes released in Train Sim World 4 and we are going to count down to what I think is the best route released in Train Sim World 4. After the live stream we will have a special uploaded video of the best route of Train Sim World 4 also added to our YouTube channel.
we thank you very much for watching this Train Sim World 4 gameplay as we have rode in the DBBR 422 locomotive. Like and subscribe to Australia Worldwide Entertainment today. Check our free dedicated Train Sim World playlists on our playlist area today. Some of them are showing on our home screen of our YouTube channel. See you next time. Well, I did think that was the uh, final destination, but it turns out it's not. I thought that was the final destination. I'm so used to stopping at that location on the trips, so it's just uh, common sense, just a, just a norm that's in my brain. <laughs> very rarely I go down to Steinbeck, so it's, uh, yeah. Steinbeck's very, not too often get Steinbeck finishing services. I've got the frame rate capped at 75 frames, you can see there it's pretty much back bang on. But I do advise you guys if you do play on console and you uh, are wanting to jump to PC, do note that the older routes, especially the Train Sim World 1 and 2 routes, the frame rate uh, is way superior, way better compared to the Train Sim World 3 and especially the Train Sim World 4 routes and I'll probably say the same with Train Sim World 5 routes, uh, just because of the uh, the skybox and the uh, the upgraded graphics just uh, you know make the game's frame rate uh, just chew up way too much more. So you find that the uh, frame rate is way less than the older routes. That officially is the uh, final destination, I do believe. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching. I do apologise for that false intent back there. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.